Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I've just sat down and filmed a get ready with me. I think I mentioned in the video I have got clients at 7 o'clock tonight and was needing to put a face on anyway so I thought I'd just switch on the camera and do it with you. It is just a quite a subtle natural kind of makeup. I didn't really know what I was doing when I sat down to film but so if you want to see how I got this look please just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to film a little get ready with me today. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just pulled out some makeup. I've got a couple of new wee bits and bobs that I just want to try and yeah. I've got some wedding trials tonight so I'm needing to actually put on a proper face so I thought I would just sit down and hit record. So first of all I'm starting with a new serum that I got and it's Skin Kissed. I'm actually just going to use this to not prime my face because I've, so I've already put on moisturiser and a, I don't know what it is, an Alamasca primer so now I'm just going to put on this. I've really been enjoying using these before my makeup lately. It's just given a really nice dewy finish. So I'm just patting that in. I have already done my eyebrows off camera. So as you can see my face is a little bit lighter than the rest of my body so I'm going to use a foundation that matches up the rest of my body. Uh, since coming back from holiday obviously my tan has faded on my face faster than it's faded on my body. That feels really like tacky, sticky, it feels like a good makeup base. And I'm just going to go in and prime my eyes with MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. No surprises there. eyes are primed I'm just gonna set them with some loose powder just the usual one that I always use the Elamasca setting powder and translucent I'm not doing anything wacky or crazy today just a really simple natural look because I've got clients later on I don't first time clients so it's like so it's a wedding trial and I don't want them to see me for the first time with a full face of crazy eye makeup on and scare them away. I think maybe that's what I'll do to them on their wedding day. So now that that's the eyes primed and set, I'm just going to go in and start using some eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Tartiest Pro palette for my eyes today. Um, I don't know, like everyone's doing some fall makeup on Instagram. We're coming into that autumn weather. So I thought I would just jump on the bandwagon and do some warm tones on the eyes. Um, they're not too warm in this palette, like not your crazy red, like that red tone. I personally don't think I suit it so much, but I am going to maybe use the Makeup Geek Bitten just to warm it up a little bit more. But mainly I'll be kind of sticking with these top colours here. So I'm just going into the shade Innocent. And I'm going to pop that like along the outer corners of the eyes and round into the crease. So during these parts I never actually know what to say. Like I watch all these other YouTubers sitting here having a little chat with everyone and it really feels like they're chatting to you, like the subscribers. But when I'm sitting here filming, doing my wee eye makeup, I just feel like I'm sitting talking to a camera. <laughs> like I really need to move past that. I've done a couple of videos with Ian, obviously, like my last one, my boyfriend does my makeup and I found it just so much easier to properly chat just because he was here. But when you're sitting here on your own and you've just got the camera, it's a bit funny just having a gab. I don't know. It's like no one answers back. <laughs> So I'm just going to take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in with the next colour, Whimsy. And I'm just concentrating that on the outer corners of the eyes as well and I'm bringing it round in the crease but just a little bit lower than that last shade. I'm just going to go back over and blend that with the original brush.
I still go and do my eyes first before my foundation because I basically just find it easier. I'm a pretty messy makeup artist, so whatever mess I make below my eyes, I can just wipe away and start again. going in with the shade Bitten from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use that same smaller fluffy brush and again I'm keeping that quite low and I think I maybe just keep that to the outer corners this time actually. And this brush has got pretty much nothing on it, it's the original brush that we used and I'm just blending that out with this. So now that that's done, I'm just going to go in with a darker shade. Um, First I'm going to try this bottom brown one and if that's not dark enough I will go in with smoked at the top. I'm just going to use this little tiny fluffy brush. I'm keeping that quite tight. Do you all think of Ian's attempt at doing makeup. <laughs> it really wasn't great. Now he's watching videos, honestly I've got videos on in the room <laughs> and he's sitting and he looks up and he's like, my makeup is better than that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were thinking of switching it around and me doing his face but I don't know if that's something that anyone wants to see. If it is, then comment below and we'll probably film that one next week. So I'm thinking I'm going to stop there. So I didn't go into the darker one, I just stayed with Edgy. You guys can obviously go as dark as you want or as light and bright as you want. I'm keeping it like that so I don't scare my bright this evening. But I have got this little individual eyeshadow here, Topshop. It is Shuffle the Cards. It's such a pretty, pretty colour. So I'm actually going to just pop that a little bit on the lids. I'm going to use the MAC 242 brush and a little squirt of Max Fi MAC Fix Plus. You could use a glitter glue because I find that this is quite chunky and it does look so much better with a glitter glue but I don't want it to be too intense today so we'll just use the Fix Plus. Actually I might bring you in a little bit. Can you see how beautiful that is? I hope that the camera is picking that up of how it looks in real life because it's so gorgeous. Packing that on. Kind of keeping it right to the middle because I'm going to go in with a lighter colour here and then I'm going to blend it out along the edges with my little brush from earlier. use a much smaller brush and I'm just going to go right into the inner corners with 
glam from the Pro palette. going to clean up these edges here, pop off camera and put on some liner and possibly lashes. So I got some liner and popped some eyelashes on. I felt like the look needed it. So on to skin and then I'll come back and finish under my eyes and the highlight and the brow bone. So today I'm going to use the I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I've been wanting to try this for a good while. So when I ordered from her website a couple of other products, I actually got two free samples. I got this one in the Magic Foundation. So I've got this little pouch here that is in the shade 7 Medium. I did order this as soon as I came back from holiday. So I might have got a shade that's a little bit too dark, but we're just going to make do. Doesn't actually feel like there's enough in here for a face. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? <laughs> mm. Um, I don't actually know how I'm gonna get this out of here. Obviously it needs a shake. How do you do that when it's in a pouch? Ugh. Okay. So I'm holding the top and I'm just kind of squeezing it around inside. Right. Try again. It is so watery. Like there's actual water running down my face. Or oil, I assume. I don't know. It's completely separated inside the packet. brush because if you do feel like when you're using a beauty sponge that you get less of a coverage not that that's a bad thing I just think that it makes it more light um, and this foundation is already quite lightweight and I think it is light to medium coverage so I don't want to like tamper with that anymore so I'm just using the brush to buff that in And as you can see, that does actually just match the rest of my body. So that is in the shade 7 medium. I actually really like the shade, like it's not... So I think the problem is when you're buying shades when you've got a tan, is that they look so orange. But I'm finding that this doesn't have too much of an orange tint through it. It's a really nice light dewy finish but remember I do have on the serum underneath so that could be playing a part in the foundation looking quite dewy. I should maybe have used it on its own first time. But so far, apart from the mishap that we had in the packet, I do really like that finish. I think my skin looks so healthy. That wouldn't happen if it was in the bottle because you would just give it a shake. There is just like hardly any in that pouch. There was enough for my face, so that's absolutely like that's what you need it for. The Alamasca ones, I get about three uses out of those little packets of Alamasca ones. So before we go ahead and set that, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape just to conceal it under my eyes and highlight the face a little bit.
I don't like too much of a heavy, heavy coverage. And this is obviously like a full coverage concealer, so I use this quite sparingly. I Especially with the foundation being quite a light coverage. And I'm going to use a blending sponge to just pat that in. With this concealer, it's kind of the opposite story. I got it before I went on holiday. So before I had a nice glowing tan. I'm really loving the look of my skin at the moment. My, it is 25 to 4 at the moment and my clients are coming at 7. So I'm definitely going to have this on till like after 9pm so it's quite a good wear test. So I'll put in the comment section how it wore throughout the day and night. And just usually I will be setting it with the Elamasca setting powder and translucent and I'm just putting that back on my beauty sponge and set it under the eyes. So now I'm just going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter and I'm just going to use some of the kind of bronze colours to warm up the face a little bit. So I'm just using a crown brush, it's a little tiny angled one. I'm just going to go in with the lightest shade. These are so pigmented, so just really tap off the excess on your brush before you go into your face. Look how gorgeous that contour is. So now that we've done that, I'm just going to go in and use some blusher. I don't think I've used this on camera before, it's quite new. I picked up the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. Honestly, like, blush is something I'm always looking for. Like, every time I go makeup shopping, like, whoever it is I'm with will say, what are you out for? What do you need? And I'm like, blush. And I never pick up any. I hate the little, like, individual things because I'm a travelling makeup artist and just getting them in and out your kit like just lots of little things floating about everywhere inside your bag or when they're all in a zippy and you've got to like empty it all out I don't know like it's just something that I like personally can't deal with so at the moment I've got like a MAC palette in my kit I always like to have like a high-end brand and then an affordable brand so at the moment there's some MAC blushes there's only three I'm going to fill up to six and I picked up this because I can pop it in as the affordable kind of alternative for today's look I think I'm going to go in with these colours down the bottom actually on camera that looks really really bright I'm probably going to stick more with like these sort of shades here I don't know that's like a proper rant about blush so I'm just going to like dip it into both of them and then tapping off the excess. I cleaned this brush and it's still wet. What an absolute idiot. Oh my gosh, look how strong that blush is. Okay, so I'm just going in with my foundation brush and I'm just kind of stippling that into the skin just so that I can get it to settle down a little bit. I'm just going to do the same with the other side, maybe pat off a little bit more. And again, just so it matches, I'm just going to stipple that in. And there's a really nice shade up here that is a blush, but it looks more like a blush topper. It's got a really nice sheen through it. I'm just going to dip my brush in. I'm just going to use it as like a topper. Oh, that looks really nice. I think I'm actually going to finish under the eyes and then come back to the highlighter so that we can do the inner corner brow bone and cheek highlight at the same time. 
So I'm just going to take, um, I'm just going to take like a little bullet brush and I'm just going to go back into those colours that we started with. So Innocent, Whimsy and Edgy. So Innocent and Whimsy are all along the lash line. My colour like quite tight in underneath the lash line. Um, I don't like that really blown out smoke. It just doesn't suit me. Like I do like it in other people, it just doesn't suit me. I feel like it makes me look as if I've got a bit of a black eye. Especially in photographs. Like when I was on holiday and I was taking some selfies, like I had really blown out, smoked it down the bottom. And I, in photographs I was like, oh my gosh, I look like I've got a black eye. Or like really bad eye bags. And then I went to Lindsay. Smaller point of brush, I'm just going in with edgy and I am going to concentrate that right on the outer corners and to just tighten all that in together, I'm going in with a flat brush and I'm taking smoked and I'm going right tight in along the lash line. With that, leave it there, and I'm just going to use the Kiko eye pencil. And I have no idea the shade, but it is just like a flesh color. And I'm just going to go inside the waterline with that just to freshen up the eye look. This is one of those ones where you can go either or, you could go for like a dark brown black liner in the waterline. Or you could go for the flesh colour. I just use the flesh just to brighten up the eye. So now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and I'm using the Tarte Manito Mascara. Since getting this mascara I've literally not put it down. I Basically when I'm not wearing any lashes, this is my go-to mascara. I absolutely love it. It like lengthens, lifts, it's so, so nice, separates. But as a topper, I do pop on the Kiko Sculpt Mascara, Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. I pop that on top and I just find that these two are such an amazing combo. So, I'm going to go in and highlight. So I'm actually just going to start with this kind of nude colour at the top and the palette and I'm just going to take that in the inside. I'm keeping that matte on the inner corners because I've used so much shimmer on the actual eyelid that I think that just to keep it that wee bit more wearable it's nice just to go in with the matte highlight shade. So now for highlight I'm using the Tarteist Pro palette. Can you tell I really really like Tarte? <laughs> So I think I'm going to go in with, because it's quite a bit of colour, I actually think I might go in with Stunner, this shade right here. Oh, actually, first, let me pop on some of the Elamasca Cream Blush, just with my finger, on the top here. It's just going to create something for the shimmer to like stick to more, so it will be way more intense because this is a cream product, you've just got to be really careful with putting it on. That's why I'm using my finger just really, really gently. So I've dipped it in, patting it off. So I'm going to use the shade Strobe to highlight the brow bone. Lightly bringing that down the nose. And I like to just pat that in with my finger. I'm going to fill in the lips with my MAC lip pencil in Spice. I 
After this, I've mixed two in my hand. It is Be My Baby and Coral something. I'll link it below. So I've mixed these two up in my hands and I'm just going to use that as my lip colour. That pretty much completes today's look. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know that it was quite a quick, simple makeup tutorial, but I think that it's very wearable for every day. Wearable for my every day, maybe not for like the school run and stuff, I don't know. But the my favourite product in this whole makeup tutorial has been the Topshop Shuffle the Cards eyeshadow. It's so pretty. I really hope that it is coming across that well on camera because it's just so, so, so pretty. Thanks everyone for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you leave. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And anyway, thank you.